We're pulling up to this really big church sale. They've been collecting stuff for this sale for the last two years. They don't open until eight. It's currently 7.40 in the morning and there's a pretty big line out the door. But honestly, it's about the same as like a line at the Goodwill Bins on a normal day. And it's a lot of like older people, so hopefully they may not be looking for the same stuff we are. Never mind. The line is way longer than I thought. All right. I am stimulated. Some clothes. I want to start with clothes though. That's kind of cool actually. I think we have some Adam's Golf stuff back here. <laughs> Adams, yeah, pick these up for sure. Oh. Any cardinals? That's not that bad. I don't know whose idea it was to have buggies for this event, but they were in the way constantly. <laughs> Little eldest clock here. I don't know. If, I don't think it's broken. I think it's supposed to be. Oh, it's hip swing. That's pretty cool. Take a chance on that. That's neat. Haley's about to find several different vintage t-shirts, including this really cool wolf one right here. They're all vintage, made in USA, single stitch for the most part, but it's just hard to put an exact value on them. So I'm going to say about 20 bucks a piece. Oh, Clemson Tigers. Yes, made in USA, Russell Athletic. T-shirt. It's a cool Clemson. Made in USA. Certified Rush, Rush Limbaugh. Both of these Pittsburgh Steelers t-shirts were from Super Bowl 40, and I think that was in 2006 or 2007. And the best part about these shirts was that they were still new with tags, even being that old. So pretty cool find. Not sure how much they're worth. Maybe 20 bucks a piece. This old Nerf gun right here. It's only a dollar. Just the clip should sell for, I don't know, maybe like 15 bucks or so. So even if the gun doesn't work, it's still worth it. Cool. Pretty gross though, they would need a lot of cleaning. I'm gonna grab them anyways. I think and then what you got, huh? We've got three golf clubs, we've got a Nerf gun, and that thing, a little Elvis clock, two shirts. A dollar piece? Uh, a dollar piece, yes, man. Looks like about 30 for Sounds good. Is that good? Yep. You got 10 bucks on you? And then this way y'all can get out of here, so hold on with that. Okay. Thank you all very much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Come back and see us in April. We'll, we'll do. All right. We'll still have plenty Next of stuff. Right That's a lot. Yep. Miss Kara. Have a good day. See ya. So although we didn't find anything incredibly exciting in today's video, it was still over $400 in value found for only 30 bucks at this church rummage sale. And I want to show you guys these more realistic sourcing trips so you don't get it stuck in your head that you're going to go out every weekend and find, you know, Nintendo 64s or like thousands of dollars in rare items. Oftentimes when we go out to buy stuff to flip on eBay, we end up finding stuff like this, like everyday common household items that just have value and do actually sell. One thing I was kind of surprised about was that pair of Chacos that Haley picked up. I looked up comps on that exact model and there was one that had sold in used condition for 55 bucks, I think, plus shipping. I will say normally Chacos sell for like 25 maybe 30 bucks plus shipping for us so i don't know if that's like a special model or what but i didn't want to just put that random comp on the screen and have you think that all chacos sell for 55 dollars because that's just not true and here's a little fun fact or behind the scenes i guess whatever you want to call it this was actually the same saturday as our last garage sale video when we found the mickey mouse dooney and burke purse and and all that stuff so at those three or four garage sales we went to earlier in the day we'd already made like six or seven hundred dollars in potential profit so this was just another sale the last sale of the day we went to so all in all for the saturday morning we're sitting at like maybe 11 to 1200 dollars in potential profit from like four to five hours of going to garage sales but in this video specifically it was like 400 bucks and i also didn't take out fees i did take out shipping i was just putting the value on the screen uh, of what the item would sell for on ebay not including shipping but i didn't take out fees so let's turn our 400 into like 320 bucks or so after fees 
and shipping. Still not too bad for 30 bucks at a church sale. I've had a couple people in the comments lately ask if I still play disc golf because we haven't shown it in a YouTube video. And I actually do. We have three disc golf baskets out here in the woods. And this is one of our disc golf holes right here. The tee box is right here on this little stone path area. And the basket is, uh, I'll, I'll show you. So here's the deal. I haven't asked you guys to subscribe to the YouTube channel in a couple months or so, but I have recently noticed that like over 60% of people that are watching our videos lately are not subscribed to the channel. And that's a huge issue if we want to overtake our arch nemesis of the Home Depot. So in an effort to regain traction here and eventually surpass the Home Depot and YouTube subscribers, I would like to pass a challenge off to you guys. I guess that's what it's called. I'm gonna throw this disc into that basket down there. Moses is coming to help, here he is, hello. And the challenge is simply this. I'm gonna throw this disc golf disc from this spot into that disc golf disc basket down there. And if I can make it on the first try, you guys have to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Here we go, first try, no do-overs, absolutely legitimate. Thank you. 